it seem reasonable that this would be a, uh, an intention? Forget about the practicality of implementing it right now, but in terms of the spirit, in terms of the deep organizing intention, not the implementation of it, like I said, we'll come back to that. Is there a problem? Do, does anybody disagree with the, the, centra the centrality, the uh, germinality of, look, of aspiring as educators to bring forth a learning-oriented human being? Is that something we, that, that you can agree with or you can you know, take on or go into with me? Does that seem unreasonable? I'm a tennis instructor. And when I, uh, you know, when I want the students to learn uh, tactical things about tennis, but there has to be some, some things like basic skills to sure. to, 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 to hold the racket. You bet. Or, or footwork and stuff. <laughs> you bet. Like that. Yeah, yeah. So, what are the basic skills of helping somebody become generally better able to learn? That's the question. I mean, that's the question. I'd share that with you. Could we go into that? What would that mean? So one of the things that, that we've tried to do is to suggest that the basic capacities, like going to boot camp or going to, uh, uh, you know, in team sports, they go through a certain basic personal individual capacity building before they go on to how it is that we're going to exercise our positions and exercise our team. They start with these raw capacities. Well, what are they? I want to say that those raw capacities have to do with how well somebody is right here at the edge able to instrument and tune and exercise the participation of themselves in their uncertainty, in their curiosity, in their dropout, when they start to drop out, can they see it? You follow? I don't know if that, if that doesn't answer I me. Mean, I'd love to go deeper and deeper until, you know, together we come to something. But I think it's just the, you know, implementing the, the skills of a teacher to construct that. I mean, you know, oh yeah, no, I agree, I agree. Now there's, a, there's an implementation conversation about all of this, which is awesome in its own self, right? I mean, how are we going to ever do this? I asked to suspend that right now. I realize that we're asking a lot. How are we ever going to do any of this stuff? I, I want to say that we've got some ideas about that. We want to share that. We want to experiment with you. We want to call forth your experience of really being there and see what we can do to go, go further with it. But right now, saving the issue of how is it we're going to implement it, I want to say, I want to come back to the question I asked. Is there anything that's more, I don't even want to use more in those kind of adjectives. Do we see the significance of education's mission shifting towards the development and emergence of learning-oriented human beings? Can we see how relevant that is? to the health and well-being of each individual and how practical that is to society and community. And if we can, then we can just kind of pause there, move along, and ultimately get into, and we will, how is it we could ever do this? But I, I don't want to not think into that because we say, right now, I'm not sure we could do it. We okay? I will. We're flowing. Okay, good. Well, we're, we're going to have a lot of opportunity for dialogue, and I, but I do want anybody that's feeling anything at any time to come forth. I mean, the problem that we're having here is the problem of a classroom, right? I know whether you want to come out with it or not, that there are people here going that are going in and out of being excited and understanding and being lost and confused and thinking, yeah, this guy definitely is from Mars. And that's no different than what happens on the other side of this coin, the same phenomena, right? And if the circumstances here are such that you don't follow through on your meaning needs, right? That in itself is kind of an illustration of everything we're talking about. What, what, in, what flashlight, what tools, what instrument panel, what dashboard do you have to extend yourself as learners. Because ultimately, we got to switch this whole thing around and say that unless you become more learning oriented, you haven't got a prayer in helping the kids become more learning oriented. You can't do it. You can't do it. You can help them be knowers, but you aren't going to help them become learners unless you become better learners. And I don't mean better as an adjective, I mean more participative, more aware of your own process. 
If you don't do it, you're not going to model it for them and you're not going to invite it and you're not going to see it. You won't see it in them.